Chicken Eagles. Welcome to today's headlines. Buari. Malam in big trouble as US lawyer writes Joe Biden to sanction a joint government over refusal to release Ulam de Kano. Buari. Malam in big trouble as US lawyer writes Joe Biden to sanction a joint government over refusal to release Unam Dikano. To my dear listeners, this is today's news. President Buhari and Attorney General of Nigeria, Abubakar Malami, have been dragged before the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives by Bruce Fain, the United States Lawyer Representatives, Unam Dikano. In his petition, Fain urged the committee chairman in both the House of Representatives and the Senate of the United States of America to impose sanctions on Buhari and Malami for Kano's detention despite the judgment from the appeal court. The legal representatives for the high public in the United States compares the Nigerian president and Antony General Malami to the Russian president Vladimir Putin, as well as the Chinese president Xi Jinping and the Saudi Arabian Prime Minister Mohammed bin Salman. He pleaded with the United States President to impose sanctions on President Buhari and the Attorney General Abubakar Malami for ignoring court orders to release Kanu and violating human rights. The letter was made available to the news press by Kanu's special counsel, Aloy Jimako. The letter reads, Global Magnitsky Human Rights Accountability Act Recommending President Joe Biden to impose sanctions against Nigerians President Mohamed Buhari and Nigerian Anthony General Abubakar Malami for gross violations of internationally recognized human rights against the Biafran leader Unam de Kanu, including kidnapping, torture and prolonged arbitrary detention to retaliate for exercise in internationally recognized right to freedom of expression and association. I represent Biafra leader Unam de Kanu. Mr. Kano has been illegally detained in solitary confinement in cramped quarters for 16 months without adequate access to needed medical care or to counsel by Nigerian State Security Services controlled by President Mohamed Buhari and Attorney General Abubakar Malami. Mr. Kano's detention Follow this kidnapping, torture, and extraordinary rendition from KL in June 2021 to retaliate for advocating a Biafran independent referendum modeled on the United States Brokard 2011 referendum for South Sudan. Mr. Kano opposes the use of force with the sole exception of self defense. On July 20, 2022, the United Nations Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detention issued an opinion 
finding on Abdekano's detention in violation of 16 international human rights guarantees. The opinion heard at his immediate and unconditional release. Opinion paragraph 107. C. Attachment A. President Buhari lent Attorney General Malami have ignored the directive for nearly three months with no indication that compliance will ever be forthcoming. In January 2022, following the extraordinary rendition of Mr. Kanu, a Nigerian High Court judgment impliedly exonerated him from the Nigerian government Orwellian claim that he had jumped the bill in evading its notorious attempted assassination. On October 7, 2022, the Court of Appeal of Nigeria, Abuja, Judicial Division, holding at Abuja declared that Nigerian's detention of Mr. Kanu was illegal because of his extraordinary rendition from KL in violation of international and state law. C. Attachment B. The court ordered him, ordered the dismissal of all charges against him. Again, President Buhari and Antony General Malami have flouted the court's orders and kept Unam Dekanu illegally detained. Now I've come to the end of our today's news.